Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I thought I'd start with a shot from Zingy again, but I really just wanted to show off the Christmas tree. Anyway, enough of that. Let's head to the office, office which will be the main subject for today. And, well, I guess we can immediately see the culprit here, or the problem. This is a giant mess. And it's been like this in one form or another for the past year. So, we have all our cables here, which run all through the house and outside the house and everywhere. And people who've been following my channel, which started with home networking videos, kind of know how this came to be. But people who know me also know this isn't the end result. This is kind of an in-between. We've been there for about a year, but you know. So here's my desk, which I currently sit at and do my work and play my games and stuff like that. But during construction, we kind of made this, uh, in Dutch we call it a nis, but a cove, I guess, in, in uh, English, where I would put my patch cabinet. But there's no patch cabinet yet, yet because I've been busy. Anyway, uh, since I have a few days off during Christmas, today I did some work on sorting the cables. And, uh, well, this, this weekend I want to put up the patch rack. But, because we kind of used the back wall for the cables, I needed to build a sort of construction to house the patch rack, or mount it, I guess. And I didn't want to mount it just to this wall, because, well, that just didn't look right in my head. We could have done that, but, you know. So, we've been uh, working on... A, uh, a mounting mechanism, I guess you could say. And what we figured out is we're going to use some of these brackets. And basically what you do, and we've already uh, drawn the drill holes on the wall, you attach these brackets. Well, we measured it out, it should line up. And we attach a set over here too. And then we use uh, these wooden beams, which I've painted black. And basically the patch cabinet will sit on top of these wooden beams because I'm going to mount it close to the ceiling. So that under the patch cabinet, I can still use a desk. But more about that in uh, upcoming videos. Uh, let's take a look at my stack I'm currently running. I've been running this since we're in the house because, well, we needed a router and we needed Wi-Fi and cameras and all kinds of crap, of course. So let's start with the modem. The modem is a Technicolor modem from Ziggo. Uh, it's not really important. It's in bridge mode, so it doesn't do much else than translate coax to a network cable, UTP. <laughs> it doesn't need to do much more else. So we have a 400 slash 40 subscription and basically uh, we always get great speed and great ping. So that's good. So if that's not doing the routing, what is? Well, you've seen this in a previous video, but this is a Microtech CCR1009. It's a pretty heavy duty nine core router uh, and it handles well, the 4 and 10 bit or a gigabit or 10 gigabit with ease. So, it actually has a 10 gigabit port. On that 10 gigabit port is a Microtik switch. It's a pretty cheap switch. It has two 10 gig ports. Of one, one is uplinked right now. And 24 gigabit ports. So the switch does some VLANing and switching, of course, and the router takes care of all the routing. And because of the 10 gigabit connection, there's plenty of bandwidth to do that. On top of that, I needed some PUE. So this is a gigabit PUE switch, and as you can see, we're currently feeding it with 48 volts. And this is a quick and easy way to get some PUE uh, and especially a quick and 
cheap way to get some peewee because these switches and power supplies they're about 70 80 bucks and a true peewee switch especially if one of the big brands you're paying a hundred hundreds of euros and i didn't feel like doing that Microtik is coming with some PUE switches and well once they do I'll probably pick one up So here's the back of the PUE switch and You can see you can select mode A or mode B Which determines what kind of PUE gets put on the cable. So it's not negotiating uh, But you need to select which version you're using Okay uh, Well you're <laughs> We have some sound foam I intend on using and the rest is a giant mess right now because I had to move everything aside. But this should be improving in the next videos. <laughs> so let's take a quick look in the garage and see, uh, take a look at the patch rack I'm going to use and hang up here. Okay, welcome in the garage. Here you can see some more of the brackets we're going to use. So it's basically a U-shape with some attachment to the wall and it should be sturdy enough to hold the patch rack and all the equipment inside of it probably going to need some of these brackets too because one of the uh, stands I guess or mounts won't fit with one of these but we'll make it work <laughs> today I used uh, some spray paint what kind of spray paint is this? Uh, I'm not sure you can see that in the video but it's matte uh, spray paint for on wood and I think the wood turned out pretty good at least a lot better than the original uh, color which is this one so this is the same wood I didn't like that color for in the office so making it black like this sure looks a lot better okay and uh, last up is the patch rack so I believe it's a 15U, I bought it a year ago, I mean, I'm really running behind. 15U, it has a glass front. You can take out both side panels. Apologies for the trash in the background. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can take a quick look inside. I'm probably gonna mount some ventilation up here, some fans spinning at a low voltage should do well. But most of the stuff cool uh, in the cabinet itself will be passively cooled. So that will generate a little bit of airflow. Well, that's good. I also have some 19 inch power bars, which I'm going to mount. And if you look back in the video at the wall, there's also two groups in the house, which end up uh, behind the patch cabinet, which I'll be using to feed power. Okay. Well, uh, that's kind of it for this update. I'll uh, try and uh, take you guys along with this update and all the work and progression and kind of give you a sort of uh, before and after picture. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And uh, I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.